Hi and welcome to this video section of lesson number 15 in the Employee to Entrepreneurship course presented by collegegradlife.com. Now in this series of videos, I'm going to be teaching you how to use autoresponders through MailChimp. Now during this series of videos, I'm going to be referring back to the audio lesson, so I hope you've already listened. So please listen to the audio first before you watch these videos, and if you haven't, I encourage you to listen to the audio first. Now, if you're not a part of this course, I encourage you to visit collegegradlife.com backslash entrepreneur. There you can sign up for our free 90-day email course where we teach you how to become a web entrepreneur. Now, in this video, you can see I've already logged into my MailChimp dashboard, and what I want to do is go up to the very top, these top six buttons, and I'm going to click on autoresponders. Now, once I click on autoresponders, it's going to open up and it's going to show me that I can create a first autoresponder. Now, obviously, I can watch a video right here where it's going to show me how to create an autoresponder if I want to use the MailChimp tutorial. If you want to use this video, I suggest that you just watch what we're going to do here. But if you want to use the MailChimp one, which is obviously going to be much more tailored to using MailChimp because it's created by the people who created MailChimp, I encourage you just to log into your uh, dashboard, click on autoresponder, and then click watch a video. So first we want to do is create our first autoresponder. So we click on the blue button and now it opens up to which list we want to send it to, how many days after we want to send it, and the name of our autoresponder. Now obviously for my website I only have one list currently that we set up in a previous lesson which is the Dustin R. Norman Volunteers. So this is for volunteers who come to my website who want to sign up to help me campaign and go out and door knock. So what I want, obviously, is if you sign up to be one of my potential volunteers, I want to create a relationship with you right away. So what I'm going to want to do is within two days, maybe one day, I'm going to want to send a thank you for signing up and uh, get to know you sort of an email. So within two days, obviously, I'll click uh, for this list for the DRN volunteers. Within sends two days, I can set it to two weeks, two months, or two years after sign up or even before somehow, if that's even possible. If you could do before sign up, which I don't even know how you would do that. Um, and then I want to create the name of my autoresponder as volunteer list welcome. I'll click save and now this is created. Now I don't have an email created yet, now I just have the name of my autoresponders. But before I do that, what I want to do is create a folder because it's really important for me to keep all of my autoresponders categorized. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click new folder over here on the left side. When I click new folder, it's going to open up for a new folder. I'm going to click on the pen and I can just rename this folder. I can do it volunteer auto. So volunteer autoresponders. Now that I've done that, I can go back to all of my autoresponders. Click right there. Uh, just highlight this little, this little bubble to the left of what my volunteer list welcome says and put it in my volunteer auto folder. So now when I click on my volunteer auto folder, I'm going to see that this welcome is here and now I'm prepared to set up my first email. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to create your first email and how to get really the format all set up. So, again, if you are not part of the online collegegradlife.com course where I teach you how to become a web entrepreneur, I encourage you to go to collegegradlife.com backslash entrepreneur where we teach you all the steps necessary to become a successful web entrepreneur.